Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. See other people as they are. When you see other people as they are, Without taking it personally, you can never be hurt by what they say or do. Even if the others lie to you, it's okay. They are lying to you because they're afraid that you will discover that they are not perfect. Uh, so you got to think about that one, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 132, Nasdaq off 60, S&P's off 19, gold contract trading down $8.60 at 18, 6, 18 17 an ounce. We have silver up nine cents, twenty-four dollars eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck ninety-six, seventy-seven dollars thirty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: a ten-year note flat one fourteen twenty-five. The thirty-year up two ticks at one thirty-one oh nine. And king dollar, king dollar trading at uh, down three seventy-seven. Turn to seventy-seven ticks one oh six. King dollar. One, oh, I'm sorry, one oh three five nine eight. Euro is at one oh six. Not the, the yen's at 135 and the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So we get over to the spy, we take a look at it. We'll see if this is going to shake out, um, you know, the next, uh, you know, about 60 minutes. Uh, Powell's probably still speaking. He's got about another 15 minutes of speaking. Um, you know, bottom line, you had a failure out here yesterday. Once you get a failure out here yesterday, you can't get the traction out here today. Bottom line, let's say it's going to the bottom of the consolidation. You know, so what the Fed did out here, folks, is this. If you, you know, so we went up 50 basis points. The Fed is saying now, and this is where you want to really wrap your head around this a bit, that at the end of 2023, we're going to be at 5.1%. Now, what they also said is that, that that number is a half a percent higher than it was when they basically reported this, uh, not the last quarter, six months ago, okay? So he's hedging himself, meaning Powell and the Fed are hedging themselves in the context that, yes, that number could change again. I think the biggest thing that he, as, as, as people, as, tra as traders, as investors, whatever, that you want to wrap your head around is this. They're not kidding about bringing inflation back to 2%. If you heard the statement, what happened is this, folks. He was talking to the American people first. And he said specifically, before I read this statement, I'm going to talk. And what he was saying specifically was that, yes, this is tough. Inflation is outrageous. People are having a hard time. And he was explaining that because he has to, he was explaining the context that if inflation keeps going, we'll all be broke. That's the bottom line, okay? That, to me, what he was saying there is telling me flat out, man, I don't know how they're going to get to 2%. I don't even get it, okay? Because, you know, maybe we get to 2% if you, if you just hold rates at, you know, 55 
and we go up to seven and a half, and we do that for four or five years. But bottom line, right now, he's saying that that's where it's going to be. You know, so we'll see how it shakes out. You know, market-wise out here, you get a flat market. You know, we'll see how uh, the market itself basically gets used to higher rates. As one of our targets are saying in the den, the next thing that we're all going to be looking at is that, okay, we have higher rates. Well, the bottom line is that uh, companies making money in, with higher rates in 2023. Because we know that what moves equities, folks, is earnings. That's the, that's the bottom line. You know, of course, there's more buyers than sellers. You, it's going to go higher. More sellers than buyers, you're going to go lower. But end of story, that's us for traders. End of story, it is making money and growth that send equities higher. Dow right now turned positive. We're up at 23. Says he probably finished. They're up 23. The comp, uh, NASDAQ is up 7. S&Ps are up 3. No, no big deal. I uh, kind of all around there. Um, dollar, though, let's go to the dollar because the, it, it, this correlation with the dollar in the market is pretty amazing. The dollar just gave up 200 points, 200 ticks rather, and as the dollar gave up 200 ticks, guess what? That was enough for that market to say, okay, man, I want to go higher. So what the dollar is doing out here is that, you know, you can just see what just happened. If we take a look at this, the dollar just went from 104, 160 to 103, uh, 539. And we'll see, you know, if this is going to hold, where are we going to go with it? Some of the higher volume equities out here today, if we take a look at the market in general, you get Tesla down. Uh, Tesla's a huge ABC down, too, by the way. That's down another $2. That's trading out at 153 We have uh, Facebook's up 250 You have uh, Plug Power up buck twenty-four. What is this up 17 Oh, Moderna's up 17 Yeah, that's going to be a, they're, 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 there's a, they're talking about a, Moderna, Merrick, uh, cancer vaccine combination. Um, and this is for, let's see, what was this for? Yeah, so for skin cancer, which is huge. And in this particular case, uh, this is, it seems big. It seems like it, it cut it by 44%. So you're talking a very large number out there, that's for sure. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You have Moderna up 9%. You got uh, DocuSign up 4.7. Netty's up 4. Take it away from it. Charter Communications, man, down 15%. That's a hit. You got Match, uh, Match Group down 3%. Uh, Lucent's down 2.4. Uh, Let's go back to Charter for a second. Let's see what's going on here because you got an equity that's down 15% in one day. Oh, look at that, man. Holy cow. Okay, so now I'll bring this on a weekly. Yeah. Wow. This just couldn't do anything. So, not that it has a high volume low. It must have one somewhere. Right there. Yeah, I guess it's going. That's going after 302. That's pretty intense. There's no doubt about it. When you go, when you wake up in the morning and be down 15 percent, that says quite a bit. Dow, Dow Industrials right now. Let's see inside the Dow, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. I suspect Microsoft's going to be up here because Microsoft has been moving. So you got, uh, yeah. Uh, Home Depot's number one. That's putting 19 positive points. Microsoft 19, Visa 15, Boeing 14. Taken away from it, you get uh, Goldman minus 28. You got uh, Amgen minus 17, American Express minus eight and a half. So, uh, bottom line is that it looks like uh, we'll have a flat market out here. You know, the market is trying to grab back what it lost uh, on the initial uh, jolt. And hey, we'll see where it goes. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 25, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's up three and a half. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report? For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN Educating Investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 72. NASDAQ uh, off 31. S&P is uh, down 10. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, because tomorrow, folks, Basil is doing a live trading webinar. This webinar is going to start at 8.30 in the morning, go to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's only $295 to get into this webinar. And at for $295, folks, what you're getting, you're also getting a full month of Basil's newsletter. You're going to get an amazing education just getting his newsletter because he has so many different archives on his website, okay? And then on top of that, guess what? He's going to be trading live, 8.30 in the morning, 2.30 in the afternoon. You know, we know we have a trader's market just from when I just <laughs> so the, the last three minutes, folks, the Dow is just up 100. Now it's not 73. And as Basil will say, the day is young. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. So let me just get to this right away. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we try to identify the low bar and we want to count each successively higher peak. The okay. objective is to get you to the fourth highest peak. <clears throat> At that point, other things can happen. Well, on my show this morning, <clears throat> I mentioned, and I circled this little arrow right here with this doji candle, and I said at 9.30, there was this, this turnaround, and that there was an indicator that we will be working with a lot tomorrow. We, and there's that chart, beautiful. A, okay, cool. A, a buy signal, and you got the chart? Yes, sir. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. And, and look what happened. It went to peak A. C, D, and then there's a technique I call the instant restart. But you don't need all this stuff. You just needed this one indicator, this little green line here. Look, it was green, 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 right up until uh, right there. For, so at 40, we're talking about 40, 40, 50 entry point. And right here, it switched. And if you want to do a one-minute chart, you got out at 473 on the S&P mini. But that wasn't the point. The point I was making is I like to talk about the potential for a two-click session, and we're going to go into that a lot tomorrow. And what that means is, is there are times, and, and over the past year, it has just been, it isn't like a dozen times. It's like at least three dozen times. There have been days where the low of the day, actually, it's even more than that. The low of the day 
was pretty much the low all the way into the afternoon, sometimes into the close and sometimes the short early in the morning was the short for the whole day. So what's interesting about this is that this 10 minute chart here, just using this one, forget about all the letters, just using this one indicator, confirm that 930 buy and it stayed green and it stayed green. And even with that pullback at about 1130, where uh, this went to a peak F and then pulled back, that that green line stayed positive even through the dip. And then finally, I almost sent this out to the den, but I was really so busy I couldn't do it. At 1.59 this afternoon, I got, let me just uh, move this chart to the right, because all of this is going to be exactly what we're doing tomorrow. At 159, I got that leg D, and at just, just I think it was 158. At 159, it gave a confirmation of a peak D. That's the fourth highest peak. That's what we're always looking for, and started on its way down, and it coincided exactly with a little doji candle. I was talking about doji candles at leg D in the 10-minute chart, and that's where we got that sharp pullback. I, it's It's fascinating how this works. Yeah, it really is, particularly because it gets to a leg D, like, 30 seconds before the Fed announcement, right? <laughs> and I was, I was about to type in, and I said, no, I can't do that. I just don't have time. Anything could happen between now and then. But that was a PT in the one-minute chart, the very near term, and then the longer term, which was actually 10 minutes. This is like the daily chart and the weekly chart. It's the same relationship. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And look, here's the 200-period moving average. You know, I always talk about the 200-period sure. moving average. Look at the 200-period moving average, which gave this – Fabulous set of, of support levels all the way through from about 5 this morning, Eastern Time, till that breakout at 9.30. And look what happened. We were right through it. Look what we just did. We are now two, two or three points away from the 4,054 level of the 200 period moving average. That's how powerful some of these techniques. And you don't need all the letters and all that. I'm just showing you really basic stuff, a construct that says you can use this. And yes, it doesn't work every time, but it really gives you a grounding of where, where you can go and what to look for. I love that action. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, it's amazing, Basil, is that no matter how many times with, with Powell's, I mean, he has, that's quite a forceful statement that he's talking out there today that, hey, we're going to get this down to 2%. And it's like, okay, well, you know, the market is not getting that's smoked. That's a challenge. <laughs> you know what I was thinking, and I thought this months ago, if every time he talks about it and the market is holding well, you know, Mark, the market eventually just kind of it learns to live with whatever the parameters are. Yes. So I'm watching this very closely because I sent out an, an, um, um, uh, so to my subscribers an update and I said, we're not doing anything because I said we might go short. And I said, no, I like what I'm seeing. I think there are buyers here at least for a little while longer. And my rule of thumb is always, and I'll be talking about this, looking out for the first quarter of 2023 in my webinar tomorrow. Uh, I, I always say that if you can survive the, the last week of October and the first week of November in the Dow going towards the high of the year, usually you stay pretty much in that range into the end of the year. Well, we've only got, what, nine, ten days of trading or something? Right. We'll see what happens. Right. And, you know, as Jimmy was saying in the den, there's no doubt that, you know, Investors and traders are going to be looking forward to the first quarter to see, you know, how are these companies? Get, well, are these companies making money or not? And we both well, there's know. A, there, there, there's, in the t yeah, there's in so the much fluff in some of these big corporations, folks. Okay. Right. No, no. Yeah. But, well, someone in the in the uh, Tiger YouTube said two uh, percent. What exactly? Why is it two percent? So that's a really good question because he might achieve a lot and not get to the 2%, it might, the rates, you know, this is the normalization of rates. I mean, in well, our lifetime. It's, it's the answer to that question. It's 2% because what you want to do, folks, is that, you know, go back, you know, if y'all learned the sixth, this fifth grade, or whatever, is compound 2%. And when you compound 2%, your US dollar is not worth a lot of money 10 years later. You All know right. what I mean? That's that's right. why two percent's out there, right? I mean that that's the reality. They they know that you know you know. The bottom line is that every day a dollar's worth less money. You know everything's worth yeah. yeah right. Anything fee, it's worth less every day, folks. That's the absolutely. Bottom line. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at all these various aspects. We'll look at bonds. We'll look at different things. But we are going to be trading, and we will definitely trade the E mini. And then I'm going to add. I've already made a little list of what what at this particular point might be appropriate. We might go three times long the S&P or three times short the S&P or the S the SOX index. I'm looking to have some other trades that are 
for people who don't just do futures. So it's going to be very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. And folks, it's very easy to commit to the, we the webinar. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right in the front under featured content. Go over there, check it out. You're going to be really glad you did. You're and they will get a booklet. They will get the whole thing will be notated, and they will. I will send it out to each person, all the different patterns and the, what we're looking for, and and anything they ask about, I'll put into the uh, into the format so that I can send it to them afterwards. Ride them, cowboy man. Here we come. <laughs> this is going to be good. Well, listen, Achieve you have it. a great night, a safe night. We're all going to be on there in the morning. Thank Make you your very money, much, Basil. Tom. Thank you. Riding that wave. Okay, man. Have a great have a one, a safe evening. one. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, market wise, out, it looks like we're going to have a flat market. I mean, it's, it's, it's going back up and down. I'm telling you, every time that goes through my head, and I keep saying that, you know, I think I don't think he's kidding about this 2%, folks, okay? If he's not kidding about 2%, let me tell you something. We're going to have higher rates for a lot longer than anyone realizes. Now, that doesn't mean that if you can't figure out how to make money in them, but that's where we're at. Dow Industrials right now down 107, NASDAQ's off 52, S&P's off 15. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 208. You get the NASDAQ off 101. S&Ps are down uh, 32. So let's get in. Uh, let's go take a look and see if some of these are going to be set up. So the, if we look at the composite... Yeah, we're gonna, you know, it's going to the lower end of this consolidation. You know, we're in the consolidation, couldn't, ha couldn't handle the top of it, bottom on. I suspect you're going to right down to the bottom of it. And what we have out here today is that so what had happened yesterday, folks, and this is where the divergence was. The divergence was that if we take a look at the SPY, see, the SPY had 123 million yesterday. And it couldn't 
go and stay above the 144 million. So that to me is a failure on price and volume. Okay. Now what's happening is that we do have an expansion of volume on the way down. You get 84 million. Now I'll show you the divergence. Here's the divergence. The divergence was that the NDX 100, the three Qs, had the volume and didn't have the price though. The bottom line, it was going into 74 million shares and it did 80. Now that being said, guess what? You're going to be at 60. Yeah, 65, and we're going into the lowest swing point is 45. So that can blow that away in about a heartbeat. And I suspect, you know, we'll, we'll see how this is going to shake out. Um, but I suspect that's exactly where uh, this baby wants to go. It's, it blows my mind. If you were in front of a machine when this was happening, folks, this is, it was, I was saying to Jacob in the office, it was crazy because the S&Ps were only down 20, right? And I'm listening to Powell first talk to the American people saying, I understand it's bad, inflation's bad, but we have to do this because if we don't do this, then none of us are going to have any money. And the S&P didn't move at all. And it took like three and a half to four minutes, then it went from 20 down to 45 and 50. You know, Now you're fluctuating. But it, it was really um, intriguing to me that it took that long because... I believe that he was firing off and, you know, a lot of the Tigers in the den are saying that, hey, nothing has changed and nothing has changed. But I would say that in the context of conviction, that he made very clear that the press is on until 2%. Well, if the press is on to 2%, there's no way you're going down on rates in 2023 and maybe not in 2024. So... We all got to figure out how this thing, you know, works, meaning how it's going to work, because that's just telling me that that is going to sail along for that length of time. Now, the last time that this happened, and, you know, I was 20 at the time, uh, but I bought my first house. Yeah, and I paid 14 and a half percent interest. So I was already in that that deal. And, and, and we've talked about this before. The difference was when you had 12, 13, 14% mortgages, folks, right? They were on much smaller numbers. The first house I bought, a triple decker in South Boston, was $14,000. I had a, a sub shop in the first floor. I lived on the second floor. My mortgage is $228, and I was getting $200 a month rent, <laughs> okay? Much better figures than dealing with the, whether it's the $300,000, 400, 500, whatever, you, you know, we're all dealing with right now. So. I don't see 14% mortgages going. I do see, you know, higher. You know, uh, that's the bottom line. Higher for longer. Maybe maybe they level out. Maybe the 30-year, you know, levels out at the six and a half, seven. You know, I, I can see that. I can see that. And, but hey, we'll, we'll see where this shakes out, man. My, 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 my take is that the market is not believing it. And I'm going to bring that one step further, because if you've learned anything, you know, all these cycles in the market, we all learn a lot. And in this particular case, I'm saying, are there really that many people still in the market thinking that GameStop and, you know, um, the theater companies can go higher? It might be. I mean, listen, man, it, it, it might be. And if that's the case, they're going to lose a lot of money. That's, 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 the, that's my bigger point in the context of, where this can go. Because my take is that you can't make money. Well, you can make money, but you got to be so careful if you're talking about, like, when these companies are taking companies over, folks, they're paying, you know, 12 to 14 percent. Now, that's the headline number. That's, that's the headline number, meaning to do the deal. They're not talking about the full percentage number. So the full percentage number is much larger than a headline number. And Every time that I've seen this happen, what, what tends to happen is this, is that, yeah, they'll take them over, then they bleed the company, the, the private equity firms will get the money out of it, but then everyone loses their job and the company's down the tubes. You know? So my point there is that a lot more companies could go south very, very quickly. That's, that's the bottom line. So let's go take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at the diamonds inside the DIA and see how these are set up right now. So we take a look at the diamonds. Uh, see, this is interesting. So the diamonds, 
you know, that, the Diamonds had a failure, too. The Diamonds were going at the 6.9 million, and it did 5.2. And today, you're 4.5. So, you know, the Diamonds are going to be something you want to water watch, particularly because uh, is that that acceleration of the Diamonds was the largest. And if you do break the bottom of the consolidation, which is 334, and with 338, well, the next leg down there would get you all the way down to 317. So that would be kind of a, well, no, that would be a big move down. Let's go to Home Depot. Let's take a look at Home Depot. This is the biggest mover inside of the Dow today. So let's see what this did. We're at 332.30. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's going to be a failure at the highs. Look at this, man. This is pretty cool. So your swing point is 332.98. You had volume of 10 million shares. Yesterday, you did 5.7 million. You close under 332.98. Bottom line is that you're going to pull back the other side. That's on the daily. Let me look at this on the weekly for a second. Oh, yeah. Same deal on the weekly. Yeah. So, you know what the good news is in all of this, right? The good news is, and I had brought this up even at the beginning of the year, that it's very possible that... What we're going to see is that we're going to be a big, large consolidation for a long period of time. And if that's what you get, meaning you get, you're, you're running down to the bottom of the consolidation to go to the top of the consolidation, when you have large consolidations, folks, there's a lot of bread to be made. That, that's the reality. Because what does happen, and you know, Larry talks about this a lot in the patent recognition. What happens in patent recognition, when you, have, when you know what the patent is, your probability and where you can put your stops go dramatically in your favor because you don't have to give them as much space because of the fact you're basically in, in this particular case and larry's case patent recognition and this one the same type of thing because you're looking at the consolidation yeah do you get spikes you get spikes but once you get used to the spikes you know if you put the volume together with the spike uh the bottom line <laughs> it changes things dramatically you know because then you'll either have confidence that it's going to break it with volume or it's not going to break it. And if you don't break it with volume and you don't hold price, guess what? You're going one way downtown. And we're going downtown if you, you swing into that low. If you don't have the volume to break that low and you reject it, guess what? What are you doing? Well, we're going uptown. That's, it's just one big spring that's going back and forth, you know, until they break. When they break, then bottom line, make sure you understand the calculations. Um, you know, as to where the speculation is that it would go if, in fact, that's what you get, is that you get that break. Um, silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market, because this is no doubt intriguing inside silver right now. Silver hasn't backed down at all. Now, what you had out here yesterday, yeah, it hasn't backed down, man. Bottom line, up 13 cents. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Sign up for Basil's live webinar, airing this Thursday, December 15th. Basil Chapman will be hosting his first ever live trading webinar, just in time for the holiday season. While Basil will focus on the S&P E-mini futures, other symbols from gold, crude oil to natural gas and more will be traded as appropriate. Basil will demonstrate specific Chapman wave techniques as well as answer questions live. Spots are limited and Basil goes live Thursday, December 15th. You don't want to miss it. To sign up, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's off 220. You get the Nasdaq off 112. You get the S&Ps off 33. The uh, Let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs out here. We'll hit Apple first, see what Apple's doing. I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, they're going to be coming out. Uh, that's going to be interesting because Apple, yeah, see, what happened yesterday with Apple, folks, is telling us it's going to go a lot lower. Why am I saying that? Because Apple couldn't even take out a small swing from five days prior. Yesterday, when the market exploded, Apple went to 149.96. The swing was 150.91, couldn't make it. You're going to the bottom of the consolidation out here today. You have 65 million shares in the bottom 69. So that's telling me it's going to jump the creek here make the way down to the 135 again. And, you know, we talked about Tesla. Tesla's a monster ABC down. This is going to really create some uh, problems <laughs> uh, for sure. And if you, if you saw this, you know, the, the guy that is claiming that uh, he's for free speech, um, he kicked off the guy that uh, tracks his jet yesterday. So, so much for, you know, free speech. <laughs> that... Yeah, Musk is one of the biggest cons in the world out there. It's pretty, it's pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out, man. And, you know, it, he gets away with it. That's the bottom line. I mean, you know, I, yeah, he can be a genius and be a jerk at the same time, and that's my take on him, you know. And it's, at least it's, it's actually heavier than that because the, he, he, could you imagine that, that you sell the amount of equities that he sold at highs and people didn't even pay attention to it, man? I mean, he was he was popping te you know tweets out, and it's like and the and, and the market stayed there for him. The market stayed there as he continued. Well, yeah, let's let's go look at it because this is this is like, I mean, he's got to be sitting there saying, "Man, I can't believe that they just didn't smoke me before the the case." Okay, so watch this. Let's see if I can get it for the full year. Oh, there you go. Is that? Oh, no. One second. Here he is here. No, I can't get it for the full year. Bummer. Okay. Yeah, I would have liked to get that number for the full year to find out exactly you know, where he went. The bottom line is that we know he sold, you know, he sold 100% over where the stock is right now, folks. That, that's the bottom line. Let's go take a look at a couple of the, you know, Caterpillar, Deer. They're hanging at highs. So you got Caterpillar right now that's down a buck fifty or two thirty-four. Yeah, look at this. So the highs at two forty-six. That's going back to uh, June of twenty twenty-one. And it doesn't look to me like this is going to be able to break it. Because so look at this. At those highs, we came down at twenty-two million. We're not even close to getting above that. That's this guy have to consolidate for quite some time. The best week it had is the first time it went up there. It went up there with 21 million, 
That was six weeks ago, and it keeps dropping. That's telling me that's going to drop. Let's go to deer and take a look at deer. Okay, so deer. Put this back also. The high on deer is this 446. We made it to 448. That's 9.7. Versus eight. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see if deer can make it. Hasn't made it thus far, but you know, when you take a look at that, deer has a better chance to make it than uh, caterpillar. That's the way it seems to be setting up right now. So that's going to get really intriguing to see how that shakes out. And we got to go to the gold market. We got to take a look at the gold market because these things still are not operating, man. Um, you know, been up here too long. So. You know, yesterday the GDX, okay, bottom line, had volume of 27 million. Well, the swing point was 50. That doesn't even make any sense. Well, it makes sense, but what that's saying, that's saying half the amount of buyers were up there yesterday in an explosive day. That's just telling me that, yeah, this thing's going to pull back. And what we had, the dollar has still not basically gone higher, you know, uh, but it's like, okay, when you see something like this, it's like, why? What, you know, why has that happened? And it's going to, something's going to catch soon. The reason being is that when you do look at the dollar, you're going to see that how I set this up. The bottom line is that we are right at one of the lower swings. You know, if this dollar breaks the 103.4, well, yeah, 103.417, and we hit 103.448, that dollar will go down to, 101.414, you know, but the market, the, the gold market's not saying that right now. That's, you know, but that doesn't mean it's going to kind of change overnight. That's the reality. Uh, we go take a look at the, uh, oh, let's go to oil. Let's go to the, uh, first we go to the oil market. Okay, so oil contract out here today. You're up at 266,000 contracts. It's not enough contract volume. I know by... You need up in the threes, that's for sure. Yeah, you're coming into 392, you're coming into 347, you're coming into three, yeah. You, you get a contraction again. So we'll see how this shakes out. In fact, if I go like this, let me pull this, I'm gonna pull this up in a much longer time frame because I believe what we've actually seen out here. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. Yeah, so you can see what you have out here. This has been a one-way trip on the way down. Doesn't mean it'll stay there, but thus far, this thing's in a channel. So the, the top of the channel here that we're going into is going to be, we're at 77.41, and it's 80.95. It hasn't been able to break this down channel. The down channel has been in place since June of 2022. That's how that shakes out. We go to the XLE, you know, these gold, I mean, these, um, these equities had had quite a good run, no doubt. So the XLE, you got, you got a little consolidation happening. It's going to be hard for the XLE to, to get on the other side of 86, 88. We hit 87 today. Uh, but they, yeah, well, this is the number you want to watch. Watch this right there. That's ice right there. You can see that was the consolidation. That's where the break is, you know. Bottom line, if it makes it, then it, it, then you get then you're in a higher range. Right now, you're not in that higher range. Uh, we go take a look at Exxon Mobil. Same setup. Exxon wants lower price. Exxon is anything under 107.57. That sets up the same type of situation, meaning that it's trying to get into. Right now, it's trying to get into the higher range. Hasn't been able to make it. Every time that it can't make it, guess what? Bottom line. You're going to come down the other side. Um, let's go take a look at the Boeing, because Boeing has been getting some action on, in plane orders, that's for sure. Uh, so Boeing right now is at 188. You're up a buck. There's nothing here either. Amazing. Yeah, the volume, you can see this. The volume is dying on the volume on, on Boeing in a monster way. So fundamentally, Boeing is telling us that they are going to be taking in $19.6 billion and bringing uh, $0.52 three cents to the bottom line. Now, this is going to be the first quarter 
that Boeing expects to make money, folks, going all the way back to the last quarter of 2018. It says quite a bit. And they see, this is how this is they're looking. They're looking from, to do from 66, 5 billion this year to 80.7 billion next year. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at this. Uh, I believe this is Silvergate. This is a, this is a bank that, uh, bottom line, got involved with the cryptos. Um, and... Let's see what we have here quickly. Yeah. I wouldn't be touching it. That's the bottom line. <laughs> uh, you know, you're at $19. I mean, there's nothing down here. So the real question, you know, inside of the whole crypto market, I mean, you know, this is a regulated bank, okay? But the bottom line is, is that even in regulated banks, uh, bottom line is that you're still gonna make money. So I wouldn't be touching that baby. Uh, Dow right now, uh, down uh, 89. You know, when you look at this market out here today, it's really almost like a flat market. Like if I put the S&Ps up, and the, the reason that it looks like, because because the volatility is so big, folks. I mean, it doesn't look like we did anything. I mean, really, right? I mean, you know, the spies are down two. You know, bottom line, um, you know, we closed out here yesterday at uh, 401.97. You're only at 399. That being said, this is a subtle deal. It's subtle that it couldn't break the highs. 
It didn't have the volume. Now what's going to happen is that you get you do have an expansion of volume here, you know, going on the way down. Last time we were down, we only had 77 million shares. Now we get 94. We go take a look at the NDX 100. It's going to be the same type of setup inside the NDX. Bottom line is that, you know, last time we were down at lower levels, you had 53 million shares and we had 45. Now you are running out with 60. But that is that's an indication that as we get to lower price, you're going to see the acceleration of that steam engine going downtown. Don't forget, folks, tomorrow, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, he's going to be doing a live trading workshop. So if you like live trading, man, bottom line, 8.30 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, please go over and sign up now. Do not sign up at 8.30 in the morning. You know, we're prepared, but the bottom line is that you only can be so prepared, um, you know, because we're going to have a lot of folks in there growling and prowling with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 in the morning. Great show. Don't forget about Basil, 8.30, man. Great trade. Wow! Look at him, folks.